Welcome to IBM's uh, Modular Data Center here in uh, Denmark. This is one of the few that uh, IBM has deployed in this uh, country. This particular data center has a PUE of 1.15 at full load. Uh, this is average PUE throughout the year. And uh, thanks to the natural free cooling technology and the favorable climate conditions that can be achieved in, uh, in Denmark. This smaller design, as you may see, is uh, made out of several uh, ISO containers. Some they devoted to uh, power and cooling, some for IT, and few for the natural free cooling and also for the gensets. The IT modules behind me can host up to 30 racks with a total maximum IT power of 200 kilowatts. They are cooled by these natural free cooling modules, which are also N plus one redundant. And Thanks to this cooling technology, we are able to run this data center in a very, very high energy efficiency mode. The cold corridor, where all the racks are uh, placed, are fed by dual power uh, bus bars with an A and B power supply independently in a total tier, tier three configuration. And all the racks are cooled by the natural free cooling system at the end which is an attached module to this IT uh, container module. This is the hot corridor area. This is the area where the two IT containers join. You can realize this is a seamless join. And also that racks are placed on rails, which are very easy to move back and forth and provide enough space for service either on the back side or on the front side when uh, engineers are loading up servers or are installing any machine. Also, power and, uh, and data cables are managed through this uh, flexible cable tray in order to avoid any sort of uh, stress on the cables. And the hot air is, uh, is collected by the natural free cooling system at the back end of this uh, corridor in a separate module which is attached to the IT modules. Also, you may realize there is a VESDA, early, very early detection system as well installed as well as pressure sensors, temperature sensors, and relative humidity sensors. This is the power container, where we have a UPSA and a UPSB with uh, dedicated batteries with 20 minute backup time, each of them, providing power to the IT modules that we saw before. We have also switchboards A and switchboard B as well, providing power to the entire facility, including natural free cooling systems and chillers. Also at the back end, we have the SCADA system managing over 400 signals which control the entire facility. This is one of the two redundant motor generators that uh, provide uh, backup power to the entire data center facility. And each of them is 650 kVA and count with a 72 hour fuel tank with double pump. This is the natural free cooling module which is attached to the IT modules and provide cooling in a very energy efficient way. This is commanded by uh, some EC fans and a heat exchanger, which has all the benefits of a direct free cooling, but we prevent the risks of bringing external air into the IT room, and uh, we prevent any risk associated with pollution or fire or smoke coming into the room since we preserve the IT area totally independent from the external air this is thanks to this heat exchanger, as I explained. The natural free cooling system is managed by the SCADA system, which controls different sensors, external temperature, external relative humidity, pressure in the IT cold corridor, temperature in the hot corridor. Based on all these parameters, the SCADA system will send signals to the EC fans to accelerate speed and increase the airflow or decrease it. This is the cooling backup module. This module contains chillers and dry coolers in order to provide chill water to reinforce the natural free cooling system for those days where temperature may, may raise to levels where natural free cooling is not effective enough. In this area, this is probably about 4% of the yearly hours. IBM Modular Data Center site, also in Denmark. 
And this is uh, composed by uh, five ISO 40 containers, which uh, provide uh, hosting space for up to 70 racks, uh, with a total capacity of about half megawatt of IT power. All the operation is uh, under a tier three configuration, including a dedicated uh, power container, also uh, two gensets full re fully redundant, and uh, also, as you may see on the behind me, dedicated uh, chiller uh, container with the dry coolers on top. The IT containers are cooled by natural free cooling uh, technology, also in a redundant uh, configuration. This data center has been placed in a car parking location, which uh, has uh, helped enormously to speed up the deployment of the project and also to cut down the cost of the land where to place the data center, since we didn't have to look for a dedicated building or actually erect a new building. The five IT modules are joined side by side without any partition wall, creating a nice space hosting up to 70 racks, as mentioned before, and providing enough space for operators to install any type of IT equipment. This data center will go live in the next few weeks, and we are sure that will provide a magnificent service to its clients. Summarizing the main benefits of AST modular data centers. Fast deployment, 12 to 18 weeks for modular versus 12 to 24 months for traditional. Reduced capex, build as you need approach. Optimum utilization of real estate. Reduced OPEX, 20% to 40% improvements in energy efficiency thanks to AST Modular proprietary natural free cooling technology. Plug and play, off-site constructed building blocks ready to be installed and relocated anywhere in the world. Project simplification, simplify complexity and risk associated to traditional construction. Flexible, adaptable to changing IT technologies and multi-tier. Fully integrated, includes 100% of all critical infrastructure needed for an always-on data center. Today we have introduced you a new generation of modular data centers with three key benefits. Rapid deployment, scalable, and very energy efficient. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you.